Hello, and welcome once again to Sun Dragon Tips and Tricks. I'm Rebecca. I'm the owner of Sun Dragon Art and Fiber in Brevard, North Carolina. It's the weekend for me, so I'm coming to you from my house. And today, I have a couple of videos planned. We'll see what I get to. I have gotten high enough on my Montana bag that I'm making with Nifty Cotton that I'm ready for the edging at the top. So we've been doing these half double crochet clusters all the way around. And the instructions she has for them are pretty good. So we're moving on to the top edging. She's using a reverse single crochet to give it a nice edge. So this is a stitch, it's also called the crab stitch, that can really give you a nice edge on things. It's something that can be used for more than the Montana bag. So I'm going to do a video using the Montana bag to talk about the reverse single crochet or the crab stitch. I don't think I'm going to have time for whiteboards today. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see some drawn out pictures of what's going on and I can always release an updated video another time. So let's get to it. I've followed the instructions of what to do to prep for this. Oftentimes, just like a single crochet row, we are going to chain one to get ready for our reverse single crochet. So crochet tends to work from right to left. A reverse single crochet is going to work from left to right. So instead of, I'll show you a, a regular single crochet. If I do a couple of these. Here I've got the single crochet and I'm going to move to the next hole. One of the ways this might be different from a regular reverse single crochet video is we're dealing with these giant holes here in the Montana bag due to the pattern. So if, if I was moving with regular single crochet, I would start here, my first stitch here on the right, and then I would move to the next hole over on the left to start my single crochet. And they would have this regular look to it. When you pull those out, Everything about a reverse single crochet is the same. We're gonna go into a hole and pull up a loop and then yarn over and go through two loops. But instead of moving forward, we're going to go back. This very first one is gonna be almost right on top of itself. I'm going to move backwards. It, sometimes it helps me to hold the loop here out of the way because if I didn't hold it, things might get a little bit crazy, right? So I'm going to hold the loop a little out of the way. When I hold it with a finger on my right hand, I can still move it, it's not trapped, but I can keep it out of the way. I'm gonna go one hole to the right, stick my crochet hook in. I'm gonna yarn over or just grab a loop. And I find I have pull it straight up and then twist. Now these two loops may feel really close to each other, comparatively speaking to a regular single crochet, but when I pull through both of them, it has a little bit of a twist. Let's try another one. So my next hole is gonna be way over here. I'm gonna hold on to my yarn. I'm gonna go in this hole. And it might kind of feel like you're, you're going in and ducking under. Let your yarn drape into the hook and do a twist like that. Yarn over and pull through both. It's gonna give us a little twist on the edge. So again, I'm gonna move to the right, stick my hook in and kind of go under. We're kind of scooping under so I can grab the yarn in my hook. This is the right direction for it to come. We're not gonna try to twist around like this. We're gonna go in and stick through, take our yarn across the front of that hook, pull up, I'll keep my hand out of the shadow as I can, pull through and up. We wanna keep them so the original loop is behind the loop we just pulled up. And then yarn over and pull through. I'm gonna tilt my hook so I can get it behind Put my yarn in the hook, 
so I can pull it back up. I'm almost moving my hand out of the way so you can see it. It's a little bit of a scoop. Then they'll be right next to each other so I can pull these guys through. It gives it more of almost a whip stitch edging. So again, let me, we are moving to the right, which will feel really weird if you're used to crochet going to the left. Here is the last one I did, goes into this hole. I'm gonna move one over, can even put my thumb there to eyeball where I'm going. I'm gonna take my hook and duck under to the back, let my yarn drape into it so I can scoop it back up to the front, yarn over and pull through. I'm really trying to minimize my motion. Just did this one, gonna come to this one. See, if I didn't hold this loop out of the way, I can still do this. I'm pushing to the back. I'm really grabbing the yarn with my hook almost than anything else, but I'm pulling up only through what I punched through and rotating as soon as I'm up so I can yarn over and go through both. So I'm finding my next hole, ducking under to the back, grabbing the yarn and scooping up to the front and rotating it so I'm fully in the right position to finish my stitch. So again, if I don't if I don't hold on to this and just let the yarn move where it needs to, I can still come over here to my next hole and push under. I'm in the right position to just grab this and pull back up to the front but only I'm gonna kind of duck under and up and yarn over and go through both. If we think about this as like the face of a clock, so if I come down, I'm pretty much, I'm pulling back over to the right, I'm coming down to six o'clock, pushing under, grabbing this yarn, pulling my, my hook back to six o'clock, and then rotating through nine o'clock, maybe about up to 10 o'clock. Yarn over and going through. Down. When I come down and under, I'm staying away from my yarn completely. Coming back here and pushing under, then coming over my yarn to grab it and pull it up and twist and yarning over and pulling through. I hope any of that is helpful. So if we see the edge that it's creating versus what we are working with. Move to the next hole to the right, get my hook over that hole and duck under to the back, come over the yarn to snag it and scoop it up through, rotate so I'm in a comfortable position to yarn over and pull through. One more time, I just did this guy, it's where my lump is. Next hole, come under, push straight back, come over the yarn and yank it up and twist and pull through. So this one's a fairly short one, just to show you, here is where I've done my backwards single crochet or crab stitch compared to where it still needs to be. That's the edging it's going to give you. It's, it's a nice little tighter edging with a decorative flair to it. I find again, it's eyeballing the stitch over to the right. We're moving to the right instead of to the left, sticking your hook straight in, grabbing the yarn and scooping to the front and yarning over and pulling through. Give it a try, see how it goes. Let me know if you'd like to see a video on something else. If you'd like to see, I can try to map this out with whiteboards, we'll see how it goes. I could release another edition of that if you'd like to see it. Let me know in the comments. Consider subscribing, consider becoming a member, at least liking the video, whatever you can do. Remember there's always patreon.com slash sundragon. 
And as I always like to say, may your crafting be filled with joy and confidence. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.